So we've made it to section 3.4. So section 3.4 is where we're going to do word problems that involve quadratic functions. So we're going to apply what we know about quadratic functions to solve some word problems. So here's our first problem. We have an inverted parabolic arch. So that would be an upside down parabola. And it's an arch. So I guess sort of like the St. Louis arch. So something that looks like uh, that. It has a span of 200 meters. So that would be the distance between the two. So I mean, if, if you have an arch like this, the span would be like this distance right here. That would be the span, 200. And you have an apex of 20 meters. So the, the apex would be the from the center to the top, that would be 20. So my drawing is not to scale. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna redraw this at some point, probably put it to scale. Okay, so the first uh, big part of this problem, part A, we're asked to choose suitable rectangular coordinate axes. So rectangular coordinate axes, that refers to the Cartesian coordinate plane. So we have to set up a Cartesian coordinate plane to uh, plot this parabola. And after we plot this parabola, uh, we're going to come up with the equation of this associated parabola. So, okay, so you have a span of 200 meters and an apex of 20 meters. Okay, so I'm going to say, okay, this is the x-axis down here. And this will be the y-axis right here. And we know it has a span of 200 meters. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna say you have zero in the center. And here on this side, I'm gonna go up to 100. And on the left side, I'm gonna to go to minus 100. And the parabolic arch is gonna start here at negative 100 and end here at positive 100. And it's only gonna go up about 20 meters. So it doesn't have nearly as high of a height as the others, so the sides. So here I'm gonna say this is 20 right here. So things are not really to scale. Now this is some kind of architectural design, maybe like the St. Louis Arch. Okay. So if I wanted to say this point here, this point here would be 100 comma zero on the right side and this top point right here would be zero comma 20. Now, what am I asked to do? I'm asked to find the equation, the equation of this parabola. Well, we know how to find the equation of a parabola if you have a vertex. So we have a, a vertex right here. Right, that's the vertex, and over here we have a point. So from the vertex, we have that h is 0 and k is 20. And for the point, we'll have that x is 100 and y is zero. So I'm going to use the vertex form. Of a parabola, remember that equation, it's an important equation, you'll want to know, it goes something like this, y equals a times x minus h squared plus k. So the very first thing, we're going to plug in the h and the k. So we're using our vertex, right? Our vertex to find this equation of this parabola. So we're going to plug in uh, 0 for h and 20 for k. So we got y equals, we're going to leave a unknown. We're going to find a later. x minus 0 squared plus 20. So when you simplify that, um, you subtract x minus 0. Here we're going to have the a out front. So 
So x minus 0 is just x. So we're going to have x squared and then plus 20. Okay, so this is the form of our equation. Now the next thing we have to do, we have to find the a. So maybe you remember how to find the a. We're going to use the, the x is 100 and y is 0 here. So in place of y, this y back here, I'm going to plug 0. I'm going to leave a unknown. We're going to end up solving for a here. And in place of x, I'm going to put 100. OK. I'm going to square 100. And then I'm going to have plus 20. OK, so we're going to solve this for a eventually. So we're going to have 0 equals a times, what's 100 squared? 100 squared is going to have four zeros. So 1 and 1, 2, 3, 4 zeros. That's 10,000. And then plus 20. So to solve this for a, we're going to subtract a 20 from each side. So on the left, we're going to have minus 20 equals 10,000 times a. So to solve for a, we're going to divide both sides by 10,000. That's going to give me a. These cancel, right? We get a equals... If I take negative one, uh, if I take negative twenty divided by ten thousand, that's going to be minus one over five hundred. Reduces that fraction reduces. Divide twenty out of the top, you get negative one. Divide twenty out of the bottom, you get five hundred. So I'm going to plug that back in here, and it's going to give me my final equation: y equals minus one over five hundred x squared plus 20. Now we expected the a to be negative. Why did we expect the a to be negative? Notice this is a negative number. Why? Because the parabola is upside down. Remember when you have an upside down parabola, your a out front is going to be negative. Yeah, that was expected. So that's the equation of that parabola. Okay. So uh, let's ask some follow-up questions. Let's do a part B. Determine the height of the arch, this parabolic arch, at the point that is 50 meters from the center. Fifty meters from the center. Okay, so here's the idea. So where's fifty meters from the center? So the center is here at zero, right? So we're gonna walk away from the center fifty meters. That would be halfway here. Between zero and one hundred halfway. And we're gonna throw up a vertical line, and we're going to say, okay, how tall is that? How tall is that? So what we're going to do, we're going to say the x value is 50, and we'll find the y value by plugging into the equation. So we're going to say, um, so at x equal 50 meters, y is going to be equal to, let's plug it in, negative 1 over 500 blank squared plus 20. In place of the x value, the blank, we're going to put 50. You know, that's y going to be. So you got minus 1 over 500. So order of operations says you do exponents before multiplication. 50 squared is going to be 25 with two zeros. So that's 2,500. 2,500 and then plus 20. 
So then we're going to take um, negative 1 over 500 times 2,500. That's basically negative 2,500 on top. Right in 500 on bottom plus 20. That's going to give us, let's see, negative 5 plus 20. The height is going to be 15, right? Negative 5 plus 20 is 15 meters. And what that's saying is when I'm out here at 50 feet, the height here is going to be 15. That height right there is 15. Okay. Now let's do the same thing, but for 75 meters from the center. So let's say determine the height of the arch at the point that is 75 meters from the center. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to plug into my uh, my equation for my parabola, 75 for x. So at x equals 75 meters, what is the height? Y. We're going to take 1,500, sorry, negative 1 over 500 times blank squared plus 20. Well, this time we're just going to plug in 75. I need a calculator for that. So first you do exponents before multiplication. What's 75 squared? 75 squared is 5,625. So what we're going to do, this is the same thing as negative 5,625 over 500. It's multiplying those fractions plus 20. Okay, what's negative 5,625 divided by 500? That's a negative 11.25. You add 20 to that, and you get the height is 8.75 meters. 8.75. Okay, so drawing that here, you don't have to draw it, but to understand that. So 75 would be here, right? That would be 75 meters, I should say. 75 meters right there. It's halfway between 50 and 100. And you go up and hit your arch, your parabolic arch. And that means that the height there, the height there is 8 point, can't get this to draw very well, 8.75 meters tall. That's the idea, just to illustrate that point.